is 50. But I have to ask you to excuse me right now. See, I'm kinda, you know. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a bit of a chilled video compared to my usual hair. So I feel like today I feel like it's 2021, we need to be saving money in a pandemic. I just wanna give out like a few advice and tips on how to get like nicer clothing for less. It's not every day doing up branded stuff. I know we've got a few Gucci boots, a few off-white stuff here and there, but you know, we have to be saving a bit of money. All right, so the first thing I would say about saving money for clothes is looking at alternative places for the items you want. Because majority of the time, when you want an item, there's such things as image searching, let's just say that. So let's say for like bigger brands like Jaded, for example, because Jaded, it's a sponsor. Brands like AliExpress, you can picture search stuff, or even on eBay, you can picture search. You'll end up finding majority of the time stuff that's like at least 20 to 30 pound less, which can, in my opinion, help you save money. Yeah, because I realized over the first lockdown, like the very first lockdown, that picture searching can save you a lot of money. A lot of money because I've bought several amounts of stuff that I know for a fact would cost at least 50 to 100 pounds. Yeah, I got it for like 20 to 30 pounds. Now, do you see the difference? Do you see the logic? Especially if you want like jaded stuff or like any like small business stuff. Hmm? You can get the same stuff, even better quality than the actual shop. Just because it says your logo on the corner of the thing doesn't mean we don't know it's from there. I'll say the second thing as well is checking places like eBay, of course, as I said earlier, Depop or Vintage. Depop. <laughs> Hit and miss though, not gonna lie to you, hit and miss. Cause Depop is like, it's good I feel like when you want to find, I say smaller brand stuff. So like if you're about like Pretty Little Thing stuff or misguided stuff a bit cheaper or Boohoo stuff a bit cheaper. When it comes to buying like trainers or shoes or anything a bit above 30 pounds, they start taking the piss. I'm not here trying to see Y2K. They're charging a kid's t-shirt for 20 pounds yet. I saw it in Asda for five. Anyways, I know many of you Depop sellers are doing that and it needs to stop. It's a pretty good place. I've bought some nice stuff from there to be fair. Many stuff that I know if I had to buy on the website, it would cost like double the amount I paid. Uh, and even Vinted. Vinted is a very low key one, I'd say. There's not many people know about it. Obviously, the way you, you sell stuff on there is a bit, mm, quite a small app. I already bought one thing from there, but selling on there is pretty good. And you can swap stuff as well. Swapping clothes as well is actually a pretty good idea now that I'm thinking of it. You wash it when you get it. You can swap clothing as well with other sellers if you want to and if you really, really want the item. Vintage is good for swapping clothing. As long as you send proof to each other of postage and then pretty much they're done from there. Some other brands as well that you can get like cheaper stuff from. I'm gonna be posting more of those pretty soon once the package comes. I'm starting to post more like low-key brands again, more upcoming ones and stuff like that. Like, saving money on clothes, as I was saying from early, that it's important. I don't see a point of buying non-branded stuff just because it looks unique. For me, it's just kind of lucky when it comes to buying clothing because I always end up getting stuff for less majority of the time because I do do my research. Um, yeah, now that comes to it, check reviews for stuff. Obviously you see like cases where people don't receive their items or the item takes too long, but then you didn't read the reviews. Read the reviews of the shop or of the seller if they're buying on a second-handed website. It's happened to me before when I've been close to being like losing money over something because I didn't check a review of that one seller. Apps like Depop and eBay, they can get reviews for them buying items not for even selling. Be careful with that one. Especially on apps like AliExpress and Shein, like, be careful, because read the reviews. If some sellers are saying, if you want something to be thicker material and it's thin, you're not gonna be happy when it comes, are you? Also, compare websites for items that you want. Especially on stuff that's trending, you're gonna find it on like 20 different websites. Let's see which one's the cheapest, or which one looks like it's the best quality, or has the most reviews, the most trusted business. I'll say thrifting is nice as well. Thrifting is, um, this wants to be messing with me today. I've not done it as much, but I feel like I should be doing it more because you can find a lot of the plugins on there. As I saw in my 15th vlog, I managed to find a, a few cute stuff since it was my first time. I believe lockdown is lifted at some point in life. Many people go to end up reselling stuff from there, which is a bit annoying. So some of the Depop sellers are doing that as well. 
hit and miss in most places because sometimes most people end up finding nice stuff like North Face jackets or some Gucci belt and I'm just here finding up. Nah, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> look more into it. You'll be able to find what you want. Fifth thing, do your research. Make sure you go to a lot of places. Don't just stick to one. I've only been doing it recently so I can't really say too much about thrifting compared to like buying second-handed stuff online. When it comes to shoes, don't be buying shoes for more money than what it originally cost. Let's start with Jordans. In the day when I was wearing them, they were costing like £60. Same Jordans I used to have are now costing £300. If it's meant to be, it will be, or you can try and buy it when it's going to come out, but it doesn't happen to many of us, does it? Um, one of my pair of trainers, I'll show you them now. Happy to get these babies! When I first came out, I wasn't able to get them on the sneaker website, take the piss. I was up at 7 o'clock in the lockdown, in a pandemic, and then they were like, the entry wasn't selected. Very painful experience. But I, I waited for a few months, and obviously they started to reduce in price, to its original price. I saw it again on eBay, and at least had good reviews, and I managed to buy them for its original price. Do your research. Give it at least two to three months when the hype has died down, you're gonna get it back at the original price. So I see some of you Depop sellers. You were selling the stuff £300 two months ago, now you're selling it back to its original price so you can get your money back. It's like stuff when it's trending, it gets so crazy expensive. Just wait a little bit before you want to buy them, don't be rushing and going for it just because of the trend. Because majority of the time you bought trainers, you're not even wearing them now. I'll do one for all my tall girls, so this is like a little advice for all my tall girls because I know some of you relate to this struggle. Check the height of the models before you buy the items because when you're there looking at a dress or a cute skirt or a cute pair of shorts, whatever, the model's 5'5". Five, 5'11", five. Five, so clearly this is not going to look on, like that on me, like it is on her. If you're getting it from a second-hand website, try and find it on the website or try and see if you can compare it or ask the seller if they know how tall the person is in the picture because I'm not trying to be here buying up um, flared like, jeans and then just looking at boot cuts. Especially now that there's many like tall girl friendly stuff now. Zara now with their jeans are like stepping up a little. Shein has really good jeans that are tall girl friendly. AliExpress I'm not going to even bother because AliExpress is not tall girl friendly at all. Sometimes I feel like they're lying. When life is normal, hopefully, and when the shops are open, just try and look around because you never know. You may find a small shop that may be selling nice stuff for cheaper or even quality stuff you can get almost anywhere. You always may find like a hidden gem because I do that quite a lot and end up finding three to four shops that I still shop at to this day as a result of me just walking around that I'll them. I'm trying to help you guys save some money. It's 2021, we need to be stepping up and saving our finances for more useful things like getting the house or getting your driver's license for some of you. Thank you guys for watching. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe and spread the word doing whatever you want. I keep saying more videos will be coming soon, but they will this time around since I'll be a bit more active. Thank you guys for watching and bye.